Hi, I'm Daniel Foley, author of Seven Dates with Jesus, Crossing Over into Abundant Life. In this video, I want to talk to you about a recent business talk that I listened to where they were talking about the number one qualities that are often found in great CEOs. And it's interesting, in this talk they were comparing two different studies. The first study, they were researching great CEOs and they came to the conclusion that the best CEOs typically have a very long-term time perspective. They see where the business is headed, they have the vision for the future of where the business is going. But then, in the second study that they looked at, the people that did the study came to the conclusion that the very best CEOs have a very high sense of urgency trying to get things done on a daily basis. Okay, so what it looks like here is you have two, you have a paradox basically, you have two opposing things. One set of CEOs is focused on the long term, one set of CEOs is focused on the short term. It looks like they are opposites. And that's what I want to talk about here is this idea of, of opposites and balance, so to speak. It's interesting, if you look in scripture, every scripture or all of scripture is balanced. So God balances all scripture perfectly. You know, in just in nature, if things are not balanced, they, they blow up. They don't exist in nature if they're not balanced. And so every scripture that is in the Bible, you can almost always find a balancing scripture for it. So for example, God is love, but there's also things that God hates. You know, we're supposed to rest in the finished works of Jesus, but Paul says, the Apostle Paul says, I was working harder than anybody. It was him who worked through me. Okay? So you've got all these examples that seem like contradictions in the Bible, but they're really not. What it means is we have to have a greater understanding of balance from a biblical perspective. And so let's talk a little bit about that, because a lot of times the traditional convention uh, of balance, and my own thinking of balance for a long time was, well, you don't want to get into the extremes. You want to take the middle path all the time and stay away from the extremes. But I'm going to show you an example uh, coming from your body here. My body, my bicep, my bicep moves my arm this way. My tricep moves my arm the opposite direction, okay? So they move it in opposing directions. Well, if they are both weak, but they're, they're equal, then I'm balanced. I've taken the middle path, I'm balanced, and I don't have any joint pain, let's say. But my goal is not for both of them to be weak. My goal is for both of them to be as strong as possible and still in balance. So the end result is that I'm still balanced, but I'm strong through the full spectrum as strong as I can be. So as an example, the best CEOs have a very long-term perspective, but they also balance that with a high sense of urgency from day to day. Okay? God is love, but he hates sin. Okay? So we have to have, understand this idea of balancing. So let's talk about this a little bit, this idea of long-term and short-term time perspective. So we could apply it to our lives as believers. We are to have a very long-term time perspective. You know, God's given us a vision or a calling for our lives to walk out over the course of our lives, but he's also put eternity in our hearts as, as well, so that we're going to be going to heaven one day and being with him. And he talks about how we're supposed to be living our lives for the life to come, for the age to come, and with eternity in our hearts and in our minds. But at the same time, you look in the book of Hebrews and several other places in the Bible, it puts a very big emphasis on today, right now. Okay, Today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts. Okay? So this is balancing. We have to live for eternity, but we also have to have a high sense of urgency for today, as in right now. What could you be doing? Okay. So my question for you is, in your life, I've got two questions. How are you doing living life with a very long-term time perspective? You know, this is one of the biggest mistakes we see in the gym with personal training is that a lot of clients are just focused on the short term, right now. They're just focused on what they can do right now to get the fastest result possible at the expense of the long term, okay? How can you set your mindset better for the long term so that you can continue your race, you can keep going for a longer period without having to stop, but at the same time, how can you get some short-term results right now? Because on the other side of this, we have procrastination. You know, it's never going to be the right time. I'll get to it later. Things are going to be great when I get to heaven, but I'm just going to uh, take my time while I'm here right now. So we have to cultivate both of these. We have to have a sense of the long term, and we have to cultivate an attitude or a sense of urgency, which is, I have stuff to do today. Right now, I need to be doing something to be taking a step forward and walking out the plans and purposes that God has for my life. So I have to have this balance. And when I do, I grow 
from the middle I grow in each direction and now I create stretch in a muscle okay and now I can create more power I can create more el elasticity and power because I have that stretch I'm strong in both directions through the whole range of motion in the gym world what I would tell you is that your joints will actually be much healthier the better the stronger you are through a bigger range of motion so if you have strength through a longer range of motion typically your joints feel better and you can produce more power and so as we learn to balance this and there's all kinds of these paradoxes in life but we're talking about long-term and short-term time perspectives today as we learn to balance them we're going to find that our lives become much more powerful.